Good morning, and welcome to Unity of Louisville, where our mission is to transform ourselves and the world through love. I'm Reverend Ray Nelson. I'm the senior minister here, and it's my honor and privilege to be a member of this community. I think everybody's been here before, so there's no first-time visitors. So um, let's open in prayer. So let's just take a moment and settle into our chairs and get comfortable setting aside all the busyness of the day, what came before and what may come after, and giving ourselves that permission to step apart for a while and become present, present to this moment. As we take that sacred breath and use that breath to center us and to calm us, we allow that breath to turn our attention inward to connect with that divine presence within. We continue to breathe easily, relaxing, setting a clear intention to be open and receptive to that living spirit of truth, to listen with the ears of our heart as we become surrounded and enfolded in the Holy Spirit, that whole spirit of God. As we set that intention, we know that spirit guides us and speaks through us and to us and as us, to move us into new ways of being. So as we settle into this new, this new day and this meditative experience, we are so grateful, grateful for this opportunity, grateful for this beautiful day, grateful for each other. And for that awareness of God, that spirit in our lives, we say thank you, God, and so it is. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. A few, few announcements. Today, after the 11 a.m. service, we have our Energy Works, which is a healing service, 10-minute uh, chair healings in the chapel. Sign up downstairs. We have our, um, the youth and family will be facilitating a painting party. It's a technique that the youth were trained with by Darren Frank, one of our youth coordinators, and he will be they will be training the adults on how to do this beautiful, easy painting style. That's kind of an abstract expressionist thing. And to support that, because we know everybody's hungry and wants to get something to eat, I'll be making sloppy joes in the kitchen, and other people will be bringing things to snack on. And so, and then also at two o'clock, we will be having our weekly unity in the park at Waterfront Park. We're at the base of the walking bridge. Um, we'll do some meditation, the daily word. We're going to do a little bit of yoga, possibly a little um, interactive conversation about spirit and how spirit's working in our lives. Things upcoming, we have um, next week, we will be having the um, um, JRA, no, two weeks from now, we have JRA Architects will be here. They have been doing our facility study, and they will present to the congregation the results of this six-month process with the actual financial numbers for the uh, major remodel and expansion of our facility. And we also have upcoming, we have our Absolute Abundance class, which starts a week from Wednesday. That is a prosperity class. Um, prosperity in a unity context is not about financial wealth, though it includes financial wealth. It is relationships, it is health, it is peace of mind, it is all the things that we know is part of us. So there's a lot going on, so I invite you to take your bulletin home, go to our Facebook page, go to our website, any or all of those. If you go to our Facebook page, please hit like and become one of our followers. Um, okay, and if you're online, we invite you to just stay online because you're already there. So, <laughs> welcome. So, as a meditative service, we do our offering at the beginning of our service so that you may stay in that consciousness of prayer and meditation at the conclusion of the service. So, as our usher comes forth, we will do our offering. Um, if you're joining us <clears throat> online, you can go to our website and hit the donate button. And so we will say our offertory blessing together. Divine love, through me, 
blesses and multiplies all that I am, all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive, and so it is. Amen. And we begin our meditation with the reading of the daily word. At the conclusion of the daily word, we will have a time of silence as the oneness blessers bless the gathered members. The word for today is consciousness. I use my creative powers for a fulfilling life. New thought leader Emmett Fox said, we have the key to life, and that key is that life is a state of consciousness. He went on to say the great creative word is I am. It is the secret of life. How exciting to know I hold the key to life through my consciousness and the creative power of my words. Whatever I hold in thought, whatever thoughts I connect with, my divine nature, I demonstrate in my life. When I connect my consciousness with I am, the divine power within me, I use my creative power to bring about the good I desire. In consciousness, I am continually aware of my divine power. I affirm the truth about myself. I am wise. I am whole. I am love. I am worthy. I am good. And from Scripture... Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. The word for today is consciousness. And our affirmation is, I use my creative powers for fulfilling life.
So it is. It is not I, but the Christ within who does the work. Our time of coming together for prayer creates a beacon of hope for people around the world. Silent unity is a powerful support affirming the activity of God at work in each life. Bringing forth a greater awareness of ourselves as spiritual beings. We let go of all outer concerns as we prepare to know the truth for all people as we rest in the stillness. I attune to God at the center of my being, and I am serene. I attune to God at the center of my being, and I am serene. My center is an all-encompassing consciousness of the presence of God. With this awareness as I focus, I respond to all outer events with a sense of peace and accuracy. I experience quietude and utter calm knowing all is well as I pray in the stillness.
The mind of God enlightens me. I am wise, courageous, and confident. The mind of God enlightens me. I am wise, courageous, and confident. I am filled with spiritual insight as I turn to the presence of God within me. I know that I have divine abilities guiding me in right directions. I have the courage and confidence to achieve my spirit-inspired goals. I am divinely empowered and enlightened as I wait in the stillness. Every cell of my body is a glow with the light and life of God. Every cell in my body is a building block of light created according to a pattern of divine perfection. The wisdom of God moves through the tissues and functions of my being with restorative, revitalizing energy. I am radiantly alive, and I give thanks in the stillness. I give thanks to God as my source of supply. I give thanks to God 
as my source and supply. God is my source, the supplier of divine ideas, pointing the way to abundant blessings. There are no limits to my imagination and creativity that these divine ideas bring forth within me. I give thanks to God for knowing my good is coming to me in awesome ways as I follow this guidance. I give thanks to God knowing my good is coming to me in awesome ways and with expectations I pray in the stillness. I envision all people building a world of peace on a foundation of love. I envision all people building a world of peace on a foundation of love. Love is the groundwork that supports our world. It opens our heart to a greater awareness of our oneness as children of God. We experience genuine, heartfelt concern for the good of all people. I continue to hold this vision of a peace build a foundation built on love as I pray in the stillness.
So as we take a breath now, once again, pulling our attention back to the present moment, we give thanks. We give thanks for this time of prayer. We give thanks for this opportunity to have stepped apart for a while and connect with that deeper awareness, that truth of the Spirit of God within. We are filled with gratitude for the constant blessings of the presence and power of God in our lives. And we go forth from this place with peace and the assurance and the expectations of the abundant blessings awaiting me. We go forth from this place transformed and changed setting the attention to express that, that who we are into the world. And for that awareness, we say, thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. If you have a prayer request that came up, you can fill out a prayer request that's in our pew pocket and drop it in our prayer box at the back of the sanctuary. And our prayer ministry will pray with these requests. And then we will forward them to Silent Unity where they are prayed with by our worldwide prayer ministry for an additional 30 days. Our prayer chaplains and oneness blessers will be available at the front of the sanctuary at the conclusion if you would like to take advantage of individual prayer or blessing. And now let us conclude with our prayer for protection. For those who are online, we invite you just to get present and the light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us and the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. And all is well. Namaste. Go in peace.